last piece. This was it. It was all coming together. Everything I had done up to now was nothing compared to what I was about to achieve. The last piece. Oh, it's a windmill. That's when it happened. The phone's ring was like a shrill cry in the night. Hello? I've really got to get a bit of ringtone. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Chief. It was a windmill. Really? That's good to hear. But enough messing around, you gotta get in here. Why? What's up, Chief? Don't call me that. My name is Sid. Me and the Chief go way back. Ever since he hired me three weeks ago. I was down on my luck on my last pack of yummy snack cakes. And the Chief took pity on me and gave me a job. Chris called in sick, so we need you on duty. These pizzas aren't gonna deliver themselves! This is the man who gave me a second chance. I wasn't going to let him down. I'll be right there. I stepped outside into the night. It was draftier than I expected. I went back inside and put some pants on. When I got to the pizza place, the chief was looking more nervous than a spinal column. And a spinal column has a lot of nerves in it. It's very nervous. Johnny, thank God you're here! You've got to deliver these pizzas fast! Where to? Address on the top of the box. I won't let you down, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Something was bugging the Chief. I couldn't tell what, but when I stepped outside and looked at the address, I was starting to feel it too. We should never let the Chief answer the phone. His writing is terrible. But it was my own fault for not checking more thoroughly. The laws of normal men are mere guidelines to the pizza man, but even he has one unbreakable rule. Once you leave the building, you can't go back in until the job is done. Or you're done. Luckily, I had some contacts. My old friend, Deep Crust O'Reilly, used to be one of our own till he went stale, jumped ship, and started his own franchise. You got a lot of nerve coming here, Johnny. When I say friend, he's really more of an acquaintance. Better start telling me why you're here, Johnny. Are you going to end up being tonight's special sauce? O'Reilly never was one to mince words. People, maybe. I need your help, O'Reilly. And you owe me one. One time I'd covered for him when he was late to work. He was really at the hospital visiting his mother, but I told the chief he was just hung over from a huge party the night before. Come to think of it, maybe that's why he hit me. You've got to help me decipher this address. You're the only one who could ever read the Chief's handwriting. Alright, I'll do this one thing. But I ain't doing this for you. I'm doing it for the Chief. And after this, you and me, we're done. I don't want to see you around here no more. You hear me? I hear you. O'Reilly made good on his part of the bargain. With the address in hand, I could finally end this. Beside me in the car, the pizza sat there like a drunken first cousin on New Year's. See, one time on, on New Year's, my first cousin got really drunk, and we put him in a cardboard box and threw pepperoni at him. And, and he lay there, kind of like this pizza was. I pulled up outside the building, an uptown high-rise. I wondered who my customer really was. The intercom buzzed like an angry wasp trapped under a mason jar by some sadistic kid. Hello? Her voice was like a sousaphone, but in a good way. And I kind of like the sousaphone. Pizza. Come on in. The last woman who said that to me ended up on the wrong end of a rabid dog. Actually, come to think of it, neither end of a rabid dog is very nice. The woman opened the door. Apparently they were making sousaphones a lot better these days. She had legs that started at her feet and went all the way up to her hips. 
they were also very nice. A mouth that could melt an iceberg, and eyes that could freeze you where you stood. Luckily, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. You're late. I was? I am? You are. I was. Sorry. So, these are free, right? I knew she was taking advantage of me, but I couldn't argue with those eyes. Also, the legs were making some valid points. Besides, arguing wasn't the first thing on my mind. You know, two large pieces seems like a lot for a woman like yourself. I'm hungry. You sure you don't need any help with them? If you're offering, come on in. Now that she had what she wanted, she took me inside and showed me the best time I could have asked for. I never imagined it would be so good. It was warm. It was soft. It was covered in cheese. A wonder of deep dish sin. Wow, that was good pizza. I've had better.